Hey guys, I'm Kev Tech here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to go over um, help desk transition to system admin. So I want to go over how one of my friends transferred over from help desk to system admin. And you guys seen this resume before. I shared this resume with you. I'm going to go over it again. But I want to go over like step by step what he did to get his job as a sys admin. So obviously, if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. So let me share my screen. Um, just give me a second. And I want to share this screen. And it's not, it's literally not a lot of slides. It's like barely any slides. So this is uh help us to system admin career transition story. So I had a guy that he worked at uh he worked for a school. He did fast food, he did a restaurant just like me, and he landed a job working as a uh, IT person through the school, and then he slowly transitioned over to IT. And and um, that's the story with him. So you guys ever like, and I'll, I'll stop sharing for a second, but you guys ever had like, you guys ever had like a feeling where it was like, man, this job sucks, I'm stuck in this job, blah, blah, blah. You know, the whole nine yards is like really bad. And you're like, I want to get out of help this. I want to stop doing password reset. I want to stop doing account creation. I want to stop dealing with dumb issues like, oh, uh, my my Adobe's not working or my Outlook keeps crashing, things like that. So I'm pretty sure you're one of those people or you probably have an issue where someone has an IT issue and, and it's like, a, oh, my printer is not working or my printer is messed up. So I want to share with you what certifications um, this person did to, to level up their career. But before I do that, I want to go over the actual resume of that person. They were uh, they were great enough to give me their resume because if I if not, I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to share the resume. So I have the resume right here, and I'm going to share my screen again. And I just want to go over the resume real quick. And this will make more sense as we look at it. So you see here. It says it's the full name of the person, street address, zip code, contact. I don't like to add my phone number because I get called by spammers a lot. That's just me as my opinion. And obviously he has a personal profile. So a highly motivated, hardworking individual pursuing a professional career in the IT industry. I am able to set and achieve short and long-term goals as demonstrated by being a Eagle Scout. I am seeking a long-term position with a organization that promotes personal development and opportunities for professional, for professional growth. And you see, he has a B, he has a uh, B, BS in management information system 2012. He got his A plus, no work plus. Um, he graduated from college, university, and he has Windows Vista XP seven server 2022 VMware experience. You want to experience so all this stuff you can learn. Like for example, like VMware. If if you go on Google and you type VMware for free download. Yeah, it's free now. So because they just partnered with Broadcom, so it's supposed to be free now. So if you guys don't know that they have they have free versions now. So personal use, you could actually get it for free and download it and use it, and they give they give you like a free version of it. So you should definitely be able to get access to that. And obviously, server twenty twenty two ISO, you could download that for free if you go here. Uh, you can download it right here. So that's that option is available there. And then if you want to learn about ticketing system, you just you literally type here Jira ticketing system free. Uh, and you have all these other options here if you want to do all the ones, but Jira is right there for free. And then if you want to learn about multi-factor authentication, dual admin free. You also could learn about admin for free. You don't got to do anything. It's literally free. You can register for free, start a free trial, 30-day uh, free trial. You see it's free. You got to store, you can add 10 users, strong MFA. You do integrations for free. I, I've done videos on this already, so I'm not going to go over this. And then if you want to learn about uh, mobile device management, you could use MOS360, which I made a video on this as well. So, uh, Moss 360, trial. Uh, so this is also free. You just gotta build, you gotta create an account. This is also free as well. You don't gotta pay anything. Um, and then all the other stuff, 
let's go back to the resume. So you can download Ubuntu for free. That's free. SQL, you can download that for free. Outlook, you can learn that for free. Office 365, you can learn that for free. You don't got to pay anything. So if you go online and do Office 365, admin free trial. This is the business one. You just look for the one that has everything on it. So this has Intune, Microsoft Intro ID. You would use you would get a business one premium. It's free for one month, and then you have to pay after that. So that this option is available if you want to use this option, business standard. So, uh, and then Active Directory DNS, DHCP, all that you can learn all that in by creating a server in Server Twenty Twenty Two. So, I don't have to go over this in depth. You guys know what I'm talking about. So this is his experience. So we're gonna go all the way down to the beginning of his experience. So he put references here upon request. You don't have to do that in today's modern world. You can just get rid of that. Um, and he worked at a restaurant. Uh, he did uh, steak and shake. He did information technology. He was an IT technician. And then you see he worked, he's a system technician, kind of like a sysadmin. He got a job after that. And what he did was he did the MCS MCSC certification. So if you guys go on online, MCSC, he did this certification and uh, he got certified in these certifications. This is literally what he did. But now you guys are wondering like, okay, so Kev, th this guy did those certifications, but what would you recommend now in today's modern day? So if you go on Indeed, this is going Indeed, uh, and this type, this is New Jersey. Let's type um, MS900. And I'm pretty sure you may see some jobs here. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Let me see if I can get some space in there. I'm 300 plus jobs. So let's see if anything pops up for that. Uh, Let me just do MS-104, level three, A plus, Microsoft. MC-900, MS-900, sorry, AZ-900. So yeah, it, you, you just put it in there. And, and AZ-900 is one of them that I'm gonna recommend. Uh, there's a lot of jobs asking. I'm not sure why these are popping up. But this is this is for this is more for cloud or anything. I'm not sure why these other jobs are popping up with this, which is kind of weird. But uh, we have AZ AZ nine hundred, and then AZ, and then and then uh, AZ one hundred four. That type of one. Is let's see if oops, uh, AZ one hundred four. Just gonna erase that. I'm not sure why that's going out with that. There we go. So you have system inf infrastructure engineer, Azure system admin. Um, it's asking for it. Uh, how many jobs is it? Is it over 100 plus jobs? Infrastructure engineer, infrastructure engineer, infrastructure engineer, junior cloud engineer. A plus, never plus. AZ one hundred and four again, so like you need to have some, you need to have some sort of Microsoft uh, recognized certification, if that makes sense. So AZ, AZ one hundred and four makes sense to get, and the AZ one, AZ nine hundred as well makes sense to get. So those are the two that I would recommend you get if you're trying to go into cloud or trying to go into sysadmin. Obviously, you have your A plus, but then you know, this, this, like once you get your A plus, talk to your manager, and I'll stop sharing for a second. I'll share again. Once you see, once you get your A plus, like talk to your manager and see if they could pay for other certifications like the AZ one hundred four, uh, AZ nine hundred, like any any Microsoft certifications. They could pay for it. That would be great. And then you could add that to your resume. And then obviously you need to learn the, these cloud services. So you have to learn about Microsoft Admin, uh, Microsoft Intro ID. You gotta learn about Intune. You gotta learn about um. Um, him, um, learn about JIT, just in time access, things like that. And Microsoft Portal has all these capabilities of doing that. So you can learn all that for free. Um, and learn about identity access management and also SSO integration using Microsoft as well. 
if you're trying to go into that, you want to set up, you want to know how to set up SSO inside your Microsoft portal. So all the apps just directly log in automatically because I've seen a lot of companies do that now. So all those things you need to know if you're trying to be a sysadmin or you're trying to get into cloud. So that's why I recommend you look at the, the AZ-100, AZ-104. And they have free training for it. So like if I share my screen, uh, it's not like, it's not, like there's, it's not like there's no free training available. So if you go online, you type AZ-900 training. And then free, are you sure they have free training for that? Yes, they do. Self-paced beginner level, administration. It's probably pretty long. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a little bit long. It's right there. And this is under products and learning training right here. So you browse old training. So if I do AZ-104, let's see if anything pops up for that. Maybe it's, oh, it's not showing up for me. Maybe if I type AZ-104 training, I'm pretty sure it's going to show up. There we go. AZ-104 training is right there. Intermediate level, admin level, duration is four days. So you're going to learn about uh, virtual networking, virtual hard disk. Active and, and there's stuff I gone over before, like some of the stuff I gone over before Monitor, configure and manage virtual networks. I have videos on this with Brian, Brian O'Connell. We made a videos on this. Implementing managed storage on Azure, deploy managed Azure computing services, monitor and backup Azure resources. So like I have I do have videos on this, and you could go on here and do free Azure um free Azure account. Um and then you could go in here and obviously it's gonna make me log in, but yeah, you could you pay as you go. You get you get Azure for free and you don't gotta pay anything. It's good to get 200 lot of credit, it's good for 30 days, and you could just shut down, shut down your access once you're done. So that that's these are so many, there's so many resources here that I just mentioned today that you could do things for free and learn. And we'll go back to this resume. So yeah, once you're done with the once you're done with all that, you could upgrade this re, upgrade your resume, upgrade your skills. Obviously, it would be Windows. Windows 10 and 11 here, server 20, 2019 or server 2022 would be here. And um, you would put your VMware experience as well. And if you want, if you want to go into um, into uh, stuff like networking or more stuff into other things, do Proxmox. So you do Proxmox and then Proxmox is training as well. So um, they have that as well. And you you create stuff on the network if you want, entirely up to you. So and they have Proxmox download as well. You could download some stuff. So you want to do anything in there, you can. You can have fun with that as well. So that's entirely up to you using a backup server, build a virtual environment, real uh mill gateway. So that's this is what I would do. I'll stop sharing. This is what I would do if I was trying to get out of help desk. Uh, there's like different, there's several ways to get out of help desk. That's just one way. Obviously, you talk to your manager to see if you could get, you have the ability to shadow another tech. If you can't shadow a sysadmin or if you can't shadow someone in another department, that gives you a good opportunity to learn as well. And obviously, talk to your manager. If you have your one on ones with your manager and you have your, your uh, key performance indicators, your key, 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 KPI, sorry, KPIs then obviously um, it will help you get a different job or a different role and understand what certifications you need and then he can move you over. But then there are other jobs that you work at and you don't have the ability to do that. You don't have the ability to leave your, you don't have the ability to grow in your job. You don't have the ability to change the other departments. So you're obligated to level up, get new skills, new certifications, and you're obligated to go and apply for another job because there's no opportunity to grow. So that does happen in real life. That happens in your job. Not every job is going to be the same. So that's just how it is. That It is what it is with that job. You have to go somewhere else. Anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Have a great Saturday. And hopefully this helps you out. Uh, hopefully this stuff helps you out. I do I do have a uh, the resume template. I shared it before. It's available. And all those resources here, I made videos on this before, the majority of it. So you guys, you just go on my videos and look for all that stuff I just mentioned. Because I have a bunch of videos on different things. Um, and, uh, yeah. And then, yeah, just get, go get your certification. Go get certified. If they're asking you for the AZ-104, go get it. If they're asking for AZ-900, go get it. Whatever they're asking for. And I'm not talking about where you live at. I'm not talking about just general, general area. I'm talking about it, where you live at. Every state is different. Every location is different. So figure out what they're asking for and then go on that. Go based on that, if that makes sense. 
All right. With that being said, have a good have a good Saturday and have a wonderful day. Take care.